today's Kibuka podcast marks the death of Queen Rosariji Chanda, widow of King Mutara III. Elsewhere in Gisagara, thousands of Tutsis are taken refuge in Mugomga church, only to be locked in the church by an Italian priest who then handed over the keys to known killers. <laughs> April 20th, 1994, massacres perpetrated against the Tutsi in the form of Utare, Tiangugu, and Jitarama. On April 20th, 1994, the president of the interim government visited Ndora and Shanda communes in Jisagara district to urge Hutus to exterminate the Tutsis. On the same day in Butare town, the prefect in Savimana, installed by President Sindikub Gabo the previous night, held a meeting to plan how the genocide was to be carried out in the entire Butare prefecture. It was on April 20, 1994, that Queen Rosariji Chanda got murdered. Queen Rosariji Chanda was killed at the instructions of Captain Ildefonse Nizeimana at the military training school called Ecole de sous officier ISO, in Butare. During the genocide, Nizeimana joined other soldiers involved in the killings, including Lieutenant Colonel Muvunyi Tarsis and soldiers from Ongoma military barracks commanded by Lieutenant Ildefon Satajikimana, and Gendarmerie led by Major Syriac Abjarabatuma, as well as in Irahamge. Captain Nizeimana instructed the soldiers to kill Queen Rosariji Chanda at her home near the Ngoma Commune office. Those who went there include Lieutenant Bizimana, nicknamed Rugwazi, Lieutenant Gakwerere, Corporal Alois Mazimaka, and Dr. Kajiruka. Other victims were identified as Jean de Massen Paris, Alphonse Sidia, Marie Gassibireje, Oheli Mukaremera and Kalixt Kaigamba. Captain Nizeimana was convicted of genocide crimes by the International Criminal Tribunal for Rwanda, ICTR, and sentenced to 35 years in prison. Lieutenant Kano Muvunyi was convicted of genocide crimes and sentenced to 15 years in prison. Tutsi refugees from former Muganza, Chiwayi, and Nyaruhenjir commune, and those who lived in Nyanji Hill near Kabogobogo River took refuge at Mugomba Church between April 19th and 20th, 1994, in Gisagara. The head priest Tatiano Pagolala, an Italian, confined Tutsis inside the church, padlocked all doors, and handed keys to the infamous killer businessman in Mugomba Center called Giingoma. When Ineram and the military arrived at the church, they demolished the church gates using guns grenades, and burnt the church with fuel. Approximately 26,700 Tutsis were killed at Mugomga Parish. The perpetrators of the killings were Dayambaje Eli, former burgomaster of Muganza commune, Sinjirang Habovyater, a councillor, Rugwa Karonghanu, Ji Ingoma, Bijirimana Pierre, Mukundia Johan, the head of Viner Hamri in that area, Kabiriji Antoine, Habiambere Celestin, Mbarushimana Emmanuel, Munyaneza Teobar, and many others. Additionally, Burundian Hutu refugees who lived in the camp, Sagasel, also played a crucial role in Mgomga Tutsi massacres. A Belgian brother called Constant Julius Goldschax, also known as Brother Stan, from the charity Brothers called Frères de Charité of the Groupe Scolaire of Butare, supported Burundian refugees who committed the genocide. This brother was a close friend to Burgumestre Ndayambaje and Nina Masuhuko. He testified at the ICTR in 2008 in their favor. Brother Stan was involved with the killers of Tutsi refugees in Mugomga Church. In July 1994, Brother Stan left Rwanda for Kigoma, Tanzania, to establish a Rwandan refugee school in which he received his friends from the genocidal government. A report by the United Nations experts released in November 2009, open brackets, S slash 2009 stroke 603, close brackets, identified Brother Stan as one of the religious personnel who continued to support the FDLR in its plans to destabilize Rwanda. Elin de Ambaje was sentenced to 47 years in prison by the International Criminal Tribunal for Rwanda. Busekanga is near Lake Kivu on a small port from Nganga to Mhombo and the Democratic Republic of Congo. Tutsis were killed while fleeing to Zaire. Others were taken from their homes to be killed at the lake. There was no roadblock at the site. But Tinde Ramni would shout and go to the area immediately whenever they saw a Tutsi fleeing. The killings began from April 20, 1994, till the end of May 1994, in Wusekanga. The local in massacred Tutsis with immense cruelty. They tied their legs and arms and threw them in Kivu. For the others, they cut off their legs, took out their eyes, 
and threw them in the lake alive to watch how they die. There was a massive pit in which Tutsis were thrown, dead or alive. The pit was excavated near Rutabo Primary School by a teacher named Sabima Najak, who was the CDR president in Nongo Commune, which he called a toilet pit. Tutsis killed at the school site were from Nongwe, Mujina, Bujesera communes, and elsewhere. After killing them, they threw them into a pit with others killed at various roadblocks in the surrounding areas. The pit was nicknamed CND, alluding to the parliamentary building where a group of Ingotany was living. It meant that they should join their Ingotany relatives who resided in the CND in Kigali. They were killed by gendarmes, Inerhamwe, and Burundian refugees who were in Yagahama camp. Among the perpetrators included Borgumestre of Nhongwe commune, Charles Kagabo, the CDR president, Nsabimana Jacques, and others. Nyumba Parish at Dishamvu, major seminary of Nyachivanda, Dishamvu commune of Busoro Prefecture. This commune is the birthplace of Jean Kambanda, the former prime minister of the genocidal government. Tutsi refugees came from Tijembe, Runyinya, Nyachizu, Mubuga, and Dishanvu communes. Between 25,000 and 30,000 Tutsis were shot dead by guns located at the hills opposite Nyachivanda. Kambanda Pascal, who was the burgomaster of Dishanvu commune, led the killers, assisted by Simbari Kuriasiel, the superfet of Busoro. Nzavgijo Pierre Celestin, a medical assistant officer at Busoro Health Center. Other members included Kubgimana Laurent, a teacher who later became a superfet during the genocide. Shimimana Alexis, a native of Jiseny who worked for Minitrap. Yemure Miviani, who distributed many access to groups of killers, and Gatabaze Varist, a driver at the commune. Kubgimana, nicknamed Chuma, Dishanvu counselor, Nyamgansa Joseph, a police officer, and Ushizimhumu Jean, who was Shori counselor. They also included Namuhungu Martin, a security guard at the post office, Murara Gabriel, a medical doctor in Wutare, and members of the Batkwa ethnic group from Chibuye Chashari, led by Tabaru. Badir Gwanda Mark, who worked at the Bank of Kigali, his young brother Ndaisenga Samuel, and Sechimonyo, who owned a gun and shot many Tutsis, also took part in the killings. Tutsi priests, seminarians, and refugees who had taken refuge at the major seminary of Nyachibanda were killed. Among the perpetrators was Father Taderu Sinjizindekwe, a native of Chibeho and was a professor at Major Seminary of Nyachivanda. Many Pentecostal Christians attended the Adeper Shagasha Church. They included many Tutsis who, when the killing started, found it reasonable to seek refuge at the church. Tutsis who had taken refuge at the Adeper were women and children. Men feared that the killers would easily find them there. About 60 Tutsi women and children took refuge at the church from April 11, 1994. Many of them were killed. Their houses burned down. On April 20, 1994, a group of killers who had just slaughtered Tutsis in Nganga arrived with gasoline to burn them alive inside the church. Fortunately, they could not use it because it got dumped on the ground accidentally. They mercilessly killed Tutsi refugees from the church. Thank you for listening to another episode of Kwibuka Podcast. As always, make sure you leave us a review, sharing what you like about the podcast, and share with others who would be interested in listening.